Good afternoon, SL. How's it going? I'm Jake Fadler. And I'm Caleb Mulcahy. Attention all sophomores, juniors, and seniors. It's my career quest time. Next Friday, November 8th, students from around Southeast Michigan will have the opportunity to explore careers in advanced manufacturing, construction, health sciences, and information technology. This interactive event will connect you with professionals with some of the most in-demand careers available. Space is limited to 50 students, so pick up your permission form and student services today. Permission form deadline is Wednesday, November 6th. Attention all girls. A girls empowerment group is beginning Tuesday, November 12th. Advisory hour topics covered may include coping skills and self-care, body image and self-esteem, healthy relationships and communication, and setting and achieving goals. The group will meet every other Tuesday during advisory hour. For more information, please see Mrs. Lindsay in student services. We have the annual blue out coming up on November 14th. This is a community-wide event to support type 1 diabetes awareness. There are signs around the school with QR codes to send the kids to the site that allows them to buy shirts and support. We want everyone to wear blue that day. Let's check out the design. Attention to all students, Eco Club's first meeting today is at 2.20 in Mr. Goshorn's room. Any interest in joining the jazz band? Clinic day is today from 3 to 5 and auditions are on November 4th. On another note, the next Gay Straight Alliance meeting is today at 2.30 in Mr. Club's art room. They're making a banner today, so come ready to paint. Now let's take it to Jonah with the sports. Hey, what's up, South Lion? It's Jonah with your sports. Bowling trials will be on November 18th and 19th from 4 to 6 p.m. at Penn's Bowling Alley. Do not forget your sports physical. Any girls interested in playing girls basketball this upcoming season, please come to the informational meeting on Thursday, October 31st, right after school in Mr. Shroud's class, G280. Girls basketball trials will be on November 11th to the 13th from 2.30 to 4.30 in the gym, and you must have a physical to attend. The wrestling season is approaching. Any student who is interested in joining the wrestling team can come check it out. Conditioning be begins Monday and will be every day from 4.30 to 6 p.m. The first official practice is November 18th. Also, for those interested in, go in joining uh, Winter Guard, there's an informational meeting on November 13th at East in the band room at 7 p.m. Parents are welcome. The first rehearsal is Monday, November 18th at Centennial Middle School from 6 to 9. Email any questions to the email below. Also, there's a varsity football game this Friday against the Fenton Tigers. Do not forget to come on, support your Lions, get the W, and dress out in your white attire. Well, that's all I have for you today, SL. Let's take it over to Walter with the weather. Hey, SL, it's Walter. We've just re received some breaking news. One more day till Halloween. This is not a drill. Get ready because it's looking like tomorrow's going to be going to bring us a high amount of spookiness and a 100% chance of fun. Let's take a look at a video that TV One made to show some of the scary events you may witness tomorrow.
Now let's take a look at our weather. Today there's a high of 44 degrees and a low of 41 degrees, with a 90% chance of rain which will carry over into tomorrow evening. And I hate to say it, but it looks like we'll be getting one less than an inch of the S word. That's right folks, snow is on its way. Today we have a spooky joke for you. Why do ghosts make good cheerleaders? Think about the answer while we look at the rest of this week's forecast. So why do ghosts make good cheerleaders? Because they have a lot of spirit. <laughs> well, have a safe Halloween, Southline. Now let's take it back to our anchors. Wow, that was a funny joke. Also, there's no OSTC classes on November 5th. On top of that, the marching band had an outstanding performance this weekend and has advanced to the Michigan Competing Bat Association State Finals for the 10th consecutive year and 18th overall. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, SL. I'm Jake. And I'm Caleb, and we'll see you Friday with more news.